Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Spencer and today I've got this VHS to DVD converting kit to show you. It includes everything that you need except for the VHS tape that you want to convert and the TV to connect them to. It comes with your recordable DVDs, a VHS player, and a DVD recorder and I will go over briefly each of them and what they can do and then we will show you how to use them all at once. First thing that we're going to talk about are the recordable discs. It's going to come with either 10, 50, or 100 recordable discs depending on which one you choose. Basically it's going to include compatible discs for the DVD recorder. Sometimes picking out the right disc can be tricky. The manuals usually do refer to what kind of discs to use but even those can be hard to use because they're they're in an old manual, so the discs that they're recommending may not be manufactured anymore. But we did the hard work for you, and we match up whatever discs we include with the kit, we actually recorded using the unit specifically. So you can rest assured that the discs are going to be compatible, and you do not need to worry about them. And if you do need more, you can get them from us, because we're going to note them on the specific model that you come with, we're gonna know what discs are compatible with it. And then the next thing that you're gonna have is your VHS player. It's gonna be a hi-fi model because if you use a mono model, you're not gonna get the same quality audio that you would with a hi-fi because you're gonna get right and left audio with the hi-fi models. With the mono, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna get the right and left audio, so you're gonna be missing part of it. And if you're trying to preserve these videos, you wanna do it with the best quality option. So with this, you do have the opportunity to just use this later as a normal VCR. You can always connect it to your TV and you don't need to use it with the DVD recorder. And that's kind of nice in case if you want to have them in two different rooms. And you could even use this as a VHS recorder in case if you still want to record your TV shows on a cassette tape, you can do that. So in case if you have any old VHS movies, you can go ahead and hold on to those and use this going forward. You can set this up, play back those VHS movies and not have to get rid of them. And this VCR that comes with it is going to be fully refurbished. So the heads are going to be cleaned on it. That was done manually. You don't need to worry about that. If you use an old VCR, you're going to want to clean the heads on it so you can get the best quality results. The next thing that will come with it is your DVD recorder. This is going to be what you're going to use to burn the DVDs. You're going to record from here onto the DVD recorder. This can also be used with other devices. You can connect a camera to it with the inputs on it. Some of them will have a DV input, which you can connect a camera to directly with one of those cables, with a DV cable. You're also going to be able to use this as a standard DVD player after you're done using it, if you want to use it like that. It does have component outputs. At a minimum, it will. Some of them will have HDMI, but it will definitely have component, which means you'll get progressive scan video, which is definitely going to be better than composite. And just like the VHS recorder, you can always connect this to your cable box or to cable television or to just some other video source and you can hit record on it with a blank disc inside of it and start recording if you wanted to. And it is going to come with the original remote control because you are going to need to enter the menus on it which requires the remote. And it will even come with batteries that go inside of the remote. And then this one has a detachable power cord, so it's going to have that as well. And the manual, so that you can review that if you need any help. Recording, it tells you compatible disc types, all the capabilities of it, and everything that you need to know. You can definitely do this without reviewing the manual. It's not necessary. This is an easy to use device, but it is always a good idea to review the manual a little bit. The last thing that will be included are your audio video cables. These are going to be what you use to connect these to each other and then connect them to the TV. So we've got our TV right here. That's all plugged in. We're going to first connect the audio video cable from the DVD recorder into the TV. So right here, it's got a video input. So we're going to connect the red, white, and yellow cable right there. Thank you. 
Then we're going to connect the other end of it to the output on the DVD recorder. And you have to definitely plug it into the output and not the input. And then now we'll connect this cable from the VCR to the DVD recorder. So we'll go from the VCR output to the DVD recorder input. connected. We've got the red, white, and yellow cable going out of the VCR and we've got it going into the DVD recorder. Then we've got the other one going out the DVD recorder and into the TV. And then now we can plug everything in to the power of course and start recording once we get, get our tape in there and everything. Alright, so now we will turn everything on and we will set the input on the TV to the correct input. Alright, so let's go ahead and put a recordable disc in. Alright, so it recognized that there is a blank disc in there. Now let's go ahead and put the tape in that we want to record. All right, so we've got the tape in there. Now we have to make sure that we set it to the correct input on the DVD recorder. So to change that, we're gonna use the input selection button on the remote. Sometimes it. All right, so we've got it set to input one, and now we've got the tape playing through the DVD recorder. All we need to do now is push the record button, and it will start recording. It looks like that's his real hair. I thought maybe he had a wig on. That's his real hair. Like you with your extension conditioner. I know my extension. See, I bagged on myself first, so now I can bag on other people. All right, who who did we think? Everything that you're watching right here on the TV is being saved onto the DVD. So now it's gonna be on one of these instead of a tape. It's gonna be a lot easier to store and it will be safer long term. Always make multiple copies if you want to save them for other people. And as I said earlier, you can do this exact same thing by connecting a camera. A lot of these will have a input on the front and you can connect a device right there You've got a dv input and then your composite input for a normal connection you got s video if you want a little bit better picture quality discs for the dvd recorder they do come in different sizes the normal disc that we include will be 4.7 gigabytes which fits two hours of standard play or sp on a disc which with SP, it's gonna maintain the picture quality. If you wanna lower the quality, you could fit more time on the disc. With the EP mode, you can fit up to six hours on it, or, or even with some devices, you can go up to eight hours. You could always get special recordable DVDs, which is that fit up to 20 gigabytes on them. After you push stop, it's gonna save what you just recorded onto the disc, and then you'll be able to play it back. Now we are watching what we just recorded. So watch what you recorded at this point, but a very important next step must be done. In order to make sure that you can watch this on other DVD players, you need to finalize the disc. If you do not finalize it, it will not play back. So to do that, with the remote control, we are going to go to the functions. Or first we're going to push stop on the remote. And then functions. Then we're going to go to other functions. And then select DVD management. And then we're going to finalize it. 
So now we just have to give it a minute to finalize the disc, and then when it's done, we can take it out and play it back. And once you finalize it, you cannot record anymore. This is really great and convenient. It's basically everything you need to record VHS to DVD. You might not get these specific ones, it will probably be different ones, but the whole objective is it's going to have everything you need for transferring VHS onto DVD. The only you have this as an option, but you could also get a two-in-one device if you want to do it with one. And also, if maybe you already have one of these devices, you could just buy one of them and use it with it. If you already have a VHS player that works, you could connect it to a DVD recorder that you purchase or you can connect a DVD recorder to a VHS player that you get from us because maybe you have a DVD VCR that the DVD recorder works but the VHS doesn't. You could always connect a VCR to one of those. All right, so now our finalization has completed and we can go ahead and play back the disc if we want. So let's go ahead and do that. So here it is again, as you saw earlier, the final product of the recording. It's going to maintain the quality 100%. Whatever you had on the VHS is going to be dubbed onto the DVD. The whole idea of this was to simplify the process for you so that you can just very easily and confidently record VHS onto DVD with a device that has been totally cleaned, all the heads are in order one of these, use the link down below to find the product and our phone number will also be down there if you want to just give us a call to order or maybe you have other questions, we can definitely help you out.